slutty. What's going? Hey, 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 look who you got here today. We got my motherfucking cousin, Akon. You know what I'm saying? A video, 15 things you didn't know about Akon City. If you manage a team, you have to... Hey, Akon, when the city is done, I hope, I hope I have, like, I have my... I'm, I'm ex exclusive, executive or whatever. But have my ticket, have my place ready... Man, can you build me a house? Try Monday. Oh, I mean, Monday.com is a platform to track everything you're. My cousin, can you build me a house? Hip hop artist Akon doesn't list spy. I fuck with Akon did, though. This is real as hell. That's the realest shit I don't ever seen. This nigga got his own city. So, you already know it's needed in the city. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Akon. Hey, I need my own house over there. For sure, that I, I, I dropped the bag. I got like. I got like $25 right here. That's probably $2,500 over there. So, you know what I'm saying? Come out and me, come fold me. Hey, in my DM, you know what I'm saying? I, hey, cousin, I love you. You know what I'm saying? I got love for you, man. I love for you. I love seeing the black man when I love seeing the Africans when you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my Africans, you know what I'm saying? Pray for Guinea, all that, you know what I'm saying? For sure that. Fighters or flying or even death is one of his fears. According to him, one of my biggest fears was just being known for singing and dancing. Welcome to. I see what he's saying. His biggest fear is just being known for singing and dancing. So he's more than that. This nigga got his own city. Nigga gonna know you more about having your own city than being a rapper and a singer and a dancer. That's the same type of level I'm just trying to be on. I mean, I don't mind being labeled a YouTuber. I'll be labeled, be labeled a YouTuber than a dancer or a rapper or a singer any day. Wait, I want to be more than that. I want to be entrepreneurial. I want to have businesses. Not even a business, probably something to just put my money in. Something that's not going to have me go broke. Something that's going to make my money into more money. Something like stocks or real estate. You know what I'm saying? Not even real estate. Just land. Have my own land. Put my own shit on there. Probably have my own business on my land. Have my own house on my land. You know what I'm saying? I could probably have my own house. Have my own business in the backyard. You know what I'm saying? Hey, push on me. You know what I'm saying? Not even in the backyard, but sign my house. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to talk too much. Let's just get into the video. Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. For so, for if so. You're not subscribed. If you're a future future billionaire, I'm gonna need you to like, like, like the video. I'm gonna like the video if you're a future billionaire. Follow me on Instagram if you're a future billionaire. You know what I'm yet, you're missing out. So what's the solution for one of the most well-paid artists in his genre, Build a City? This is the only person to ever do this. This is the only rapper, singer to ever have their own city. This is legendary. This is superstar status. This is more than superstar status. This is iconic status. No rapper or singer has ever had their own city. Yeah, Michael Jackson, he had his own land. Probably he had to have his own land, but hey, this nigga got a city. Snake kind, eight kind. When you gotta see, you doing his shit. Don't yeah, of course, me. and coin your own well currency. Akon City is a $6 billion sustainable smart city planned for the coast of Senegal in Africa, all fueled by. Bro, I'm trying to go next year for real. I'm trying to go to Africa next year for so. Cryptocurrency, a coin. It's a head spinning ride from. And this man got his own currency. Don't play with that boy. He is not one of them. At all. Chart topping hits to building a futuristic metropolis, but the R&B singer plans to carve his name into the property. Niggas, he just say he don't want to be labeled as a singer. Be like, you say Akon, nigga. Tech market before the fat lady has signed. Hey, y'all better put some respect on Akon name, and I'm not playing with y'all. Put some respect on his name, little bitch. This nigga got his own city. This nigga not one of them. Hold on tight, Aluxer, because this story has more twists and turns than a Six Flag roller coaster, including government flip flopping, a dodgy investor, Hollywood tycoons, some questionable environmental factors, and even a Michael Jackson feature. So don't look away, or else you'll miss something. Number one skyscrapers or sex toys, the weird architectural design of Akon City. When artist impressions of Akon City hit the web, the response was mixed. Some thought it was great because it looked like giant creative sex toys. Others thought it was terrible because it resembled giant creative sex toys. Damn. They have an Africa? Case! Yo, 
Right. I want everybody to be having it over there. That's it. But one thing is for sure. Boy, I already know. They can't see you. That shit about to be lit in the TV. You know what I'm saying? I know they're going to have clothes in it because I know they kind of cycle nigga. I'm not going to say the cycle nigga. He is, but you already know. You're going to want to have a club of your shit to have that shit lit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm already done. Shit about to go crazy. Hey! Sure, it is yeah. memorable. Stop. The lead architect on the Akon City project is Hussein Bakri of Dubai's Bakri and Associates Development Consultants. The city is meant to represent a hyperdrive of the world famous cities with great skylines like Barcelona, New York, and Dubai. The city will be a mix of traditional construction materials as well as new materials developed just for this project, like lightweight steel and glass that also generates energy. Transportation systems that run above ground and underwater will add a cool element. Local architect Nami Tall of the Instagram page Dakar. I already know it's gonna be number fives over there, number baddies over there. I know Akon not gonna let us down when we go over there, number ugly hoes. I ain't gonna, I mean, say, uh, I said what I said, ugly hoes. We already know it's gonna be number fives over there. Everybody from all the vibes from Senegal. They gonna migrate to Akon, see what like, hey y'all come over here, we got y'all, we already got y'all land. Free houses, free everything, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna vibes gonna be over there. So you already know when the vibes over there is lady. That's all you really need. After everything's uh, all after the building's there, all you need is people. And all you gotta do to bring in the people, just be like, just give them a good deal, you know what I'm saying? Just fuck with just fuck with the people, you know what I'm saying? Lives commented on how impractical the design was when it came to the local climate, materials, or needs, pointing out that huge windows invite uncomfortable heat and will require constant air conditioning. Tall said, I really hope it's a big <coughs> job. Oh, so, shit. what about the balanced oh, designs? Well, according to Bakri, the plans for the city may seem fantastical, but he says in 25 years, all the normal buildings will be looking like this. I don't know, maybe not exactly like this one, Bakri. Meet Chris and Mark. They've both heard of Bitcoin and Ethereum. But while Chris is using eToro to trade top cryptocurrencies, Mark keeps getting cold feet. Number two. Where does the money come from? So how does a singer worth an estimated $80 million find $6 billion to build a city? Well known for his fancy footwork and growing entrepreneurial portfolio, Akon has found funding in all the right places. This nigga is a goat. This nigga is a legend right here. Akon, this is one of them niggas in it. I don't know if I'll say industry, but this is the only rapper like I, I have respect for it. Like, Niggas will say something about Jay-Z. Niggas will say shit about Diddy. No, nigga. Nigga, do you know Akon? Smack that. I run up the smack that. Give me some more smack that. Oh, oh, don't play with Akon. Like, this nigga not a living legend. This nigga, I'm going to give him his flowers while he here. This nigga Akon is a legend. This nigga's a goat. You know what I'm saying? And I remember when I had, I got the CD from somewhere. And it was a convict, and then I was like seven or eight, and then we put the CD in. I wanna love you, love you, you already know. I wanna f you. The, the bad version came on when I was a young ass nigga. You know, like my mom just she just took out the took out CD. <clears throat> I don't know what the hell she did with it. She just took it out. <clears throat> took it so like she put it somewhere, and like I never found it ever since then. But anyways, I I, I grew up on Acon like. A kind of like a uncle to me, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I grew up listening to his music and like African dude like me, you know what I'm saying? And like, shit, I be running niggas who look like A kind, so you know what I'm saying? The first step was getting the backing of the Senegalese government. President Macky Sall himself had endorsed the project, and Senegal's Minister of Tourism has also been involved. Originally, it was reported that the president gifted. I just want my feet as bright as this nigga teeth. Akon the 2,000 acre plot of land for the city, but this was later corrected by Akon and his people. Apparently, Akon wrote a seven-figure check to obtain the land. There are two other names you need to remember. The first is John Karras, a former Hollywood producer. Karras is the president and co-founder of A Coin and Akon's right-hand man in this venture, but a lot more on him later. The so he about to have his own money too? A Coin? Like, you know how I they got Bitcoin, so he's about to have his own virtual money too. 
See, this nigga Akon smart as hell. Don't play with this man like he done. This nigga, this nigga's a boss, man. Man, shout out to Akon, man. Akon, I want to know the game. Please give me the game, you know what I'm saying? I want to talk to you, like, I just want to learn the stuff of the game. Like, if I, if there was anybody I would talk to, I'd talk to Akon and Rick Ross. Rick Ross, they done. He don't stay far from me. Rick Ross, he don't stay far. This nigga stay about. I ain't even gonna say where the nigga stay, but this nigga don't stay far from me. And I already know Akon, he don't stay far from me. I know this nigga around Atlanta somewhere. I catch this nigga somewhere in Atlanta. I ain't never caught one of these niggas before, though. Why well, I ain't never seen no Atlanta rapper before in Atlanta? I mean, shit. I ain't looking for these niggas, though. These niggas not looking for me, shit. The second is Julius Mwale, who is reported to have brought in $4 billion of investment through Los Angeles-based KE International. This isn't Mwale's first tech property development. In 2019, he opened the doors to the $2 billion Mwale Medical and Technology City, MMTC, a green city based in Western Kenya, which began in 2014 and is expecting completion in December 2020. But there's so much to say about Mwale. His rap sheet reads like a soap opera, so we have a whole dedicated point on him later. But for now, all you need to know is he's brought most of the dough to the table. We do know that Mwale, who is the only named financier of Akon City so far, was the lead investor. According to Mwale's spokesperson, he's responsible for the bulk of the $4 billion that's been raised. The other investors and partners remain a mystery. All that John Karras was willing to reveal was the other partners in the project are made up of companies and high net worth individuals from around the globe, particularly Africa and the Persian Gulf states. Number three, who's bigger at- Where'd he go? Where's Akon? Oh, that shit right there. In Africa, Michael Jackson or Akon? Akon was born in Missouri, USA as Aliwam Badara Tayam. He spent most- What's your name again? Ali, 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 what? Number three, who's bigger in Africa, Michael Jackson or Akon? I think Akon, nah, I ain't even gonna say Akon better, but Michael could be, but Akon is goaded, you know what I'm saying? Like, Akon was born in Missouri, USA as- This man born in Missouri? How you get in Missouri? Ali Wam Badara Tayam. He spent most of his childhood in Senegal, but moved to New Jersey at the age of 11. In 2004, you couldn't switch on a radio without hearing Akon's hit single, Locked Up. He sold 35 million albums worldwide and did some dope collaborations. But while he may have faded into the music scene in recent years, according to business partner John Karras, Akon is, quote, bigger than Michael Jackson in Africa. Yeah, I, I believe it. I believe a kind of figure that Michael Jackson in Africa. Like, this nigga is goaded. Look what he done did, and look what he doing now. This nigga was superstar status, now he business mogul. Might be right, because in 2017, Forbes Africa named him the most bankable artist on the continent. Seems like his Makes light sense. is far from fading in Africa, but his popularity isn't only from his singing. In 2014, he launched a solar power project called Akon Lighting in Africa. This provides electricity to rural communities in 14 countries. In 2015, he met John Karras in Hollywood, and that's when Akon City and the Acoin crypto universe gained traction. Number four, how Akon is set to monetize the city with crypto coin. What's cooler than having your own city? Well, having your own currency, I guess. Acoin is the official currency of Acon City and can be used with a smartphone. According to the cryptocurrency's white paper, they estimate mobile users in Africa will reach around 623 million by 2025. 60% of the population in Africa are under 25 and unbanked and use their mobile phones for everything. Akon aims to convert these into Acoin users and claim a slice of the $267 billion cryptocurrency pie. Acoin was originally announced in 2018, and the plan was to build a whole ecosystem around the crypto, including construction of Acon City and initiatives to support young entrepreneurs. But it's not all warm welcomes for Acoin. African governments have been very skeptical of cryptocurrencies. South Africa's Reserve Bank published guidance on how it would tax cryptocurrencies. Kenya's central bank has also issued regulations on crypto very cautiously. Mostly, it stems from wariness that people in these countries will lose money. But integrating blockchain technology into city building is gaining traction globally, and Akon plans to cash in on this.
Number five, who is John Karras? It's time we meet one of the big players in Akon City, John Karras. Karras started his career as a Hollywood producer, but now enjoys the title of pre I don't trust the way his name is spelled. Why his name spelled John, J-O-N? Don't it be J-O-H-N? All right, cool. President and co-founder of Acorn. I'm just saying, 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 I
Construction was awarded to a U.S.-based construction firm, KE International. So the question remains, how will it empower Africans? Number 10. A look at investor Julius Mwale and his long list of debt. Julius Mwale was an Air Force soldier for Kenya. However, in 2000, under unclear circumstances, he applied for asylum in the USA. In a 2009 interview, he said that he was, quote, forced to flee the country when he had a disagreement with the government authorities over the technology research he worked on for the military. Once in the U.S. of A, Mwale founded SBA Technologies, Inc., a company claiming to provide secure platforms for mobile banking and commerce. But it hasn't been smooth sailing there either, and Mwale has been sued for fraud, failure to pay rent and bills, and defaulting on loan payments. The court ordered him to repay the monies in all three lawsuits on public record. His lawyers plan to fight the judgments, describing them as frivolous. Not surprisingly, John Karras is a firm believer in his financial backer, describing his dealings with Mwale as, quote, appropriate, professional, and forward-thinking when it comes to Akon City. Number 11. Africa's History with Smart Cities Akon City certainly isn't the first proposed smart city for Africa. The idea has been kicked around since the dawn of the tech explosion, but until now, no matter the scenario, none have been successful, mostly due to a lack of buy-in when it seems ill-placed in the landscape where basic needs need to be met before lofty ideas like futuristic modern meccas. The African Manhattan Ring fenced for That shit hard, but I can't wait to see what the hell this nigga come up with, because I don't really want to go to Akon City. Cause that shit really make make, make a nigga make a nigga motiv it motivates me, you know what I'm saying? It push me, you know what I'm saying? I love shit like that. It just show that anything is possible. If a if a singer who rap up on the floor, if a, if you if a singer go off from singing in the booth all day every day to build his own scene from scratch, that's the motivation straight up. Sure. Smart City Development in Johannesburg, South Africa, failed to get the green light when the proposal didn't include any plans for affordable housing. Kenya's Silicon Savannah struggled to raise funds and get through to the bureaucratic red tape before the project crumbled. Akon does seem to be more switched on to the need for local involvement to make the dream a reality. According to him, we want to empower all the young entrepreneurs with the tools to be able to fuel their businesses. This will surely win points with local government and help investors also. If y'all want to help the people at Akon C, I just all y'all need is, I think, free Wi-Fi. Like, nobody has to pay for Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is free. Wi-Fi is in the cell towers. Everybody gets free Wi-Fi. You know what I'm saying? That should be good. That should help the community. So see the merit in his smart city, but more on that in the next point. Number 12. How is the community involved? The original launch of the design of Akon City received a lot of flack from Senegal's architectural community for not including them. Akon has clapped back with a promise of including locals in the project moving forward, but there are still uncertainties on how and whether locals will be able to afford to live in the city. John Karras has been quoted as saying the first residents of Akon City will be business people, European holiday makers, and business owners. However, architect Bakri has included... I'm not going to keep it. Yeah, I got to keep the city predominantly African. I got to keep it African. Don't, don't, don't turn it to something else, but like, keep it uh, Akon City. You know what I'm saying? Keep it pleasure. Don't, don't, don't sell out. Don't sell out everyone from janitors to engineers to Hollywood stars in his vision. The project management company KE International has promised that 30... Hey, if I give me some land, I'll, I'll move over there. I, I, I can book a flight right now if y'all want. If I'm going to book the flight, all right, let me book the flight to Senegal. So just give me my land and then I'll, I'll be over there. 20% of the city's housing will be affordable to the lower half of the wage market. But how does the local market feel about outsiders deciding what they need? A researcher of smart cities from the University of Warwick advised, People don't want somebody to come from America and throw around bitcoins and solve their problems, and that this approach should be, quote, done in a sensitive and considerate and inclusive way that takes into account local people. 
However, the nonprofits and development organizations that play in this space have not been consulted by Akon and his people. For example, Karine Vavasur at Senegal's startup fund DER that we mentioned earlier is an ecosystem builder. DER supports many startups that could be involved in building Akon City. However, no one from Akon City has contacted their organization. Number 13, Akon. This year, the stakes are higher. Expertise matters. But Senator Perdue didn't listen to the experts, backing President Trump while he put us at risk, putting politicians' personal Trump ideology ahead of the public health experts and into your most private decisions. Akon's plans for a pad in Akon City. One thing is for sure, Akon will have a lush pad in Akon City. If his multi-million dollar mansions are anything to go on, we're sure he'll be bringing his signature swag to his new city. Akon's mansions are dotted from Alpharetta to Georgia, and a completely white house called Heaven's Estate in Woodland Hills. When it comes to Akon City, he says, quote, Once it's up, that's where you're going to find me. That's where I'll be living. Number 14, Akon City and the Ecological Impact. Since the start, Akon has had a vision of adopting green and eco-friendly construction and energy into Akon City. A large part of the appeal of the city is that it'll be clean and green space to live and work. KE International is aiming to have Akon City be certified lead or leadership in energy and environmental design. LEED is a North American system of standardization for high environmental quality buildings created by the U.S. Green Building Council. Add to that ACON's history of green energy and we're sure it'll be a success on all green fronts. Number 15. Plans to break ground. According to the hype, ACON City has already broken ground, but it was more like a launch on the 31st of- I want my future as bright as this nigga teeth. This nigga teeth white as hell. How you get your teeth so white, bro? Colgate? You know what I'm saying? How my teeth is? My shit, alright. August of August 2020, when Akon Ali Sar laid mm -hmm. down the first stone in the coastal village of Borian in Senegal, ah. the site of Akon City. Construction of Phase 1 is scheduled for 2021 and is expected to be completed by the end of 2023. This will include roads, a Hamptons hospital, a Hamptons mall, residence, hotels, a police station, school, waste facility, and solar power plant. Phase 2 will kick off in 2024 and run for five years. Those familiar with projects of this scale estimate the final budget will be double the current $6 billion starting figure. The plan is that within 10 years of the start of construction, at least half a million people will call Akon City home. So, Alexers, would you visit hey, Akon City? What do you think of music artists what going into business? Check out more celebrities on the side hustle with our video, 15 Celebrities That Got Rich. All right, y'all. That's that 15 things you didn't know about Akon City. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Almighty Hunch. So you did have a great day.